a lot of energy, a lot of vibrance, a lot of colors, a lot of costumes. After being canceled last year, the Montreal Caramas Festival is back in full force, ready to celebrate their 50th edition. Showcasing vibrant traditions, music and dance, Montrealers can enjoy the month-long event beginning June 9th. We want to be able to represent our cultures across the islands that we represent here in Montreal. There will be four events in total, including pageants for teens and young adults, a carnival for kids, then the main event, a street parade happening on July 6th, and finally, Caramass Sizzle to cool things down later that day. This year we're looking at inviting uh, members from the African community. Uh, we always had uh, the Haitian community always involved, so we're definitely going to be bringing three groups uh, from the Haitian community to be involved this year, uh, as well as we're looking at the Chinese to bring some of the dragons um, and, and show that on the road as well. 14-year-old Destiny, winner of the preteen pageant in 2019, is looking forward to attending this year's event and inspiring other young girls to dream big. I feel it's important because there's so many little girls whose their dream is to be a princess. And my dream was to be a princess, and I become a princess when I win this. So I was so excited. I feel like I can inspire like those, those little girls and be like, oh, she's 14. I want to be like that when I'm be older. It's important for us to represent, you know, Montreal. Montreal is so diverse with so many different countries. But the same thing is that we have certain, so many different similarities, no matter where you come from. Uh, and we want to kind of like demonstrate that with Carrie Mass. Carrie Mass wants, we want to show you, okay, how, you know, let's say somebody from Trinidad and Tobago, how we party or how we enjoy, you know, being liberated uh, with the costumes. This year's event is expected to be unlike any other. But for that to happen, the groups are asking help from the community as they need more volunteers for the event as well as donations to help reach their fundraising goal. $75,000 will help us be successful in making sure that we run a successful carnival this year. As well, going forward for the next five years, we'll be putting that investment back into carnival to make sure that we, next year we don't have to be in this position again. In Montreal, Sweet Arassi, City News.